Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to our daily reading. Hope you're doing well. Let's have a look and see what's going on for us at the time you find this video, what the daily energy and advice is. And as always, use your own discernment, take what resonates as it resonates with you. Feel free to check out any other video on the channel. Check out your weekly if you haven't already. I've posted a link to it in the description box um, under this video. Make it easier for you to find. So have a look at that. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, for subscribing, for your donations, as always. And let's begin. What's going on for my subscribers at the time to watch this video? Daily energy and advice. Okay, Oracle energy and advice for the day for my subscribers. What do we need to know for our highest good? going on first card representing the influence of the past on our current situation what has happened before what is happening as you're coming into the reading or into the day the queen of wands aries leo sag energy the queen of wands talks about um a number of things it's confidence it's attractive um energy okay so being some sort of like a magnet if you will um could be a time of receiving a lot of attention, positive attention, being in the spotlight somehow. Um, the Queen of Wands can also attract some level of jealousy, some level of envy, which is all that is coming through. Um, but it's also the energy of, I know it's confidence. I know I have options. I'm just going to wait for the right one for me, right? I'm going to pick the right one for me. And here it is in today's energy with the emperor. This is Aries energy. And this is the one option, the best option, right? So whether it's um, if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for teaming up with someone, collaborating with someone, uh, someone to date, even an idea, a concept, a company to work with, an industry to work in, um, the best approach in a situation, right? Whatever that is for you. That's what's coming in today with the energy of the emperor here. So if you haven't got here already, the advice is this is the energy you should be in or your advice to be in, do what you will. Um, and that is an energy of confidence. Knowing that what is meant for you is not gonna pass you by, knowing your worth and uh, being ready to say no to offers, opportunities, um, invitations or whatever that are less than what you want or less than what you deserve okay because it is coming in and then where things are headed from there we have the king of cups so we have a lot of people in the cards only people in the cards uh today so it could be um a great day to socialize to network to get yourself out there to talk to people get your face seen get your name heard um promote yourself because with the emperor here there's also an energy of some sort of important figure Okay, so either someone who can approve things for you, who can grant you things, who can support you somehow, invest in you somehow, and it's time to take action then, right? After, so you start off as the queen of wands, the confident, I know it's coming, I'm just going to wait for the right time, I'm waiting for the right opportunity, I'm being selective with my options, here it comes with the emperor, and then it's time to go into king of cups, business mode, right? Selling yourself, promoting yourself, talking to this person, impressing this person, showing them what you got, right? Um, to But it's going from a king, sorry, from a queen energy to a king energy is what I'm trying to get at, where it's, this is more passive. I know it's coming, I'm waiting for it, right? I'm not necessarily chasing it. And then when it does come in, it's time to spring into action, into king mode, right? Male or female, doesn't matter, it's the energy of, then you have to take charge and you have to take initiative, right? With the emperor here, there's going to be a window of opportunity. The emperor doesn't have time to waste, okay? The, and the energy of the emperor usually comes with a, a deadline or some sort of time pressure or some sort of opportunity. A window of opportunity is going to be open only a certain amount of time, okay? Um, and this could be elevator pitch for some of you, right? That's all the time you have. You're on one minute with that person in the elevator. After that, you don't know if you're gonna see him again, right? Um, so seize the opportunity. 
when it's presenting itself. And then we have Otter, Spirit, You Are Never Alone, number 42. So there is this coming together with the thing, the person, the opportunity, whatever it is that you've been waiting for, searching for, working on manifesting it, okay? And with the number six, there's an, uh, the energy of balance, of give and receive. So knowing when to act, knowing when to hold back, knowing when to go for something, knowing when it's best to say pass, maintaining that balance. But there is a coming together. There is a union that can be formed here. There's a partnership, a collaboration that can be formed here by maintaining that balance, okay, of I know when to act and I know when to hold back. Because there's going to be this amazing opportunity with the emperor, the one you've been waiting for, the one you've been searching for, the one you've been trying to manifest. You're going to have a window of opportunity with that thing, that person, that situation, that idea, whatever it is. And it's really important that you take advantage of that window of opportunity. Okay. Let's see what our fortune cookie is for the day for my subscribers. We have health. An excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. And again, health, it's balance, it's the back and forth of knowing when to go for something, when to, when to hold back and say no. This is also ma making healthy choices. There's a new beginning here, a new program, a new opportunity, a new beginning, a new collaboration, a new job, a new contract, a new commitment, okay? And it could be a commitment you're making to your health, or it could be a commitment you're making to a person or an organization or a promise you're making, and then you're going to have to keep, right? But think long-term and make healthy choices. And then we have society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. Absolutely. And again, here comes that being selective, okay? of being selective out of all the opportunities, out of all the invitations, out of all the meetings or whatever, right? Be selective with the ones you're gonna actually go for, invest in, give your energy and time and resources to, right? Think long-term. What kind of collaboration? What kind of relationship? What kind of dynamic? What kind of contract? What kind of outcome do you want here? Think long-term and then out of everything that's presented to you or you're coming across or, and this could be just internal and these are your own ideas, right? And you've got a million ideas, but not all of them are gonna take you to your ultimate goal, the one that you're working towards currently, right? And it's being, it's, it's just being selective, finding a way to kind of sift through them and when the right one pops up, because it will be like, I'll have <laughs> arrows, lights, alarms around it. It will just feel like, okay, this is it. This is it. I just know it. I just feel it. Then it's time to apply it. It's time to take some sort of action, right, to get that ball rolling before it just pops out of your head, right? Because it can happen. Mercury retrograde, remember, okay? As an example, of course, it can involve other people with all the people in the cards. And it is about collaborations. It is about partnerships. It is about... Um, contracts, bonds, things coming together, right? So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments, okay, what you got going on, but I hope this helps, gives you some insight and some advice. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.